Welcome to Medieval 2 Total War, but it's a multiplayer campaign. Every single one of these factions is being played by a human player, and we're starting this off on turn 2. We are going to look through all the different turns, see what happens, see the empires build up, and then we'll eventually get a winner, a lot like the AI campaigns, but yeah. Multiplayer instead. France already taking can. Uh, interesting. How did we get in there so fast? I bet they used a spy, didn't they? Yeah, open the gates, use a spy. Who is France? Ah, France is your total war master who actually hosted this campaign and allowed me to use the save files. So thank you to him for that. If you want to take part in future multiplayer hot seats, check out his Discord. If you want to see this series from his point of view, a player's point of view, uh, check out his YouTube channel. All of that is linked down below. It's time to get into the series, so a messenger has arrived from the Turks. The island only has one unit in it. Be careful with your boats, take, ple take plenty, we can kill Byzantium. So yeah, the Turks are being played by Francisco, and the Egyptians are being played by Lucky Boy. They seem very interested in taking out Byzantium in the early game. Who is sieging this? Is it him? It doesn't seem... yeah, whatever, he's facing the wrong way, but okay. <laughs> ah, but Egypt might actually be interested in attacking Sicily. Venice is sort of hinting at it. And he will not call a crusade on you, so Sicily can't have the advantage you do. Interesting. And the Turks want some ships at Constantinople, uh, just, just so that he can be safe. Yeah, Byzantium. I don't know who the Byzantine player is, but he's playing it smart right now. He's blocking off uh, the sea route, yeah, focusing on the navy. That's a smart tactic. Meanwhile, the Turks, using forts, they're just like bunny hopping across, uh, trying to get closer and closer. Byzantium, they know what's coming. They need to get ready quick. I don't know what you intend to do with my ex-doge. What? <laughs> ah, the new doge. Maybe he has him hostage. I don't know what happened there. Alright, so they're really putting a plan together to uh, try and take Constantinople here. I like that, they're working together, and that there, yeah, that's looking like the fleet. Meanwhile, the Moors getting pushed back. Portugal takes Cordoba, uh, but the Moors trying to reclaim it. Ah, they're even dividing up the land, and I think they're playing this really smart. Because if the Turks and the Egyptians just war against each other, eventually the Crusaders, Byzantium, and the Mongols will tear them apart. So yeah, they're really trying to like work together here, uh, find some good like dividing point to keep it fair. Yeah, they know they have to unite. I kind of like that. I wonder if any other faction is playing the same type of diplomatic game. I'm sure they will be. Oh, the HRE, looking incredibly powerful right now, taking Milan and Florence. They're now the main power in northern Italy. Milan, you've got to be careful. You cannot lose territory like that. I don't know what Milan can do. I think they are probably done at this point. And meanwhile, I hate to see it, but the Scots... They've taken Nottingham, they're going for Wales and London. It's under siege. Rest in peace, England. Yeah, the French have already kicked them out, so England is done. Denmark, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, and the Poles swooping on in, taking Budapest. Uh, Poland here is being played by the Hairy Biker. Uh, or so his name says. Uh, Scotland up here is being played by Danny Alex, Portugal by Anorian, and Venice by Dreamer. 
Uh, those are the main powers I have been told to uh, watch out for. But Byzantium, though, so far is actually looking okay. Yeah, they're in an okay spot. They are under siege here, and it will more than likely co uh, collapse. But I would say they are one of the biggest empires currently. Uh, one of the richest, for sure. Uh, France looking really good. Building up here in the top left corner. They're going to be a real problem, I think. Uh, Genoa is now under siege. Milan, they're going to be gone next turn. No troops in these ships? Nah. Milan is dead. But sadly, England did die first. Uh, I guess well done, Scotland. And the Portuguese completed the Reconquista, kicking uh, the Moors out of Iberia. Oh, Milan surviving down here in Sicily. Did they conquer that? Yeah, they must have done. Yeah. Alright, interesting move, Milan. Just trying their hardest to survive. I like it. Oh, but it is all starting to fall apart. The Turks taking Cyprus. Venice taking Smiley and Rhodes. Yeah, Byzantium is starting to... What is happening up here? No! I don't know who's worse. The French or the Scots? <laughs> Oh, France landing in, using spies to get into the settlement, and they have a very good foothold now in southern England. Scotland, what are you going to do? You have no soldiers. Are you really going to waste troops on Wales? No, pull back. Deal with this threat. Uh, what's happening down here? Really? Milan? Well, they lost Corsica and Genoa, but now they've become Sicily. <laughs> I want to know who the Milan player is. I'm liking this Milan player. <laughs> oh, Venice took Bologna from the HRV. Oh, Portugal, played by Anorian. Yeah, going to try and unify uh, the peninsula now. Going straight for the Spanish and what's this over here? They've blocked the crossing, so now the Moors cannot hop over. I like that play. I do like that. And when did this happen? The hairy biker uh, as Poland taking Denmark and already pushing up to Scandinavia. Uh, the Turks now making it into Europe, uh, taking Kaffa right there. Uh, ooh, uh, Venice took Milan, but that seems like the only changes so far. Ah, Sicily took Naples back. Interesting, interesting. Uh, York has fallen. The Scottish army is pulling away. They are retreating. Yeah, go back to Edinburgh. Okay, now all of northern Italy is being controlled by the Venetians. The HRE does end up pushing onto Zagreb. Uh, what's happening over here? The island fell to France. And why is England... Oh, yeah, 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 never mind. <laughs> but there's a certain bug with these multiplayer campaigns. Uh, England is not allowed to die, so yeah, they just throw them over to the Americas. Uh, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> Had me a bit confused for a second. Yeah, it's not going to impact the game, though. Uh, Milan has taken Sardinia. Yeah, how are they still alive? They should not be still alive right now. And Hungary is now dead. The Polish ended up finishing them off. Uh, Russia building a nice little empire up in the corner here. Poland also being successful in Scandinavia. Uh, the HRE is trying to form the longest empire imaginable. <laughs> it's not that thick, but it's very long. <laughs> For some reason. Ah, uh, Spain took Zaragoza back and... The Egyptians took Palermo. Yeah, why that? Oh, this is this is a jihad army, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder where that has been called for. Hold on, I can see it here. Constantinople. There it is. By the way, Poland looking massive right now on the map. Yeah, and, and they're going for the Russians as well. That's probably why. Yeah, if I can take this Russian land here... They would be the main power of Eastern Europe. Well, they already are, but, you know, then it'd be uncontested. Uh, what is Milan doing here? I, I, 
I don't know, interesting strategy. <laughs> Ooh, that cannot be good for her back. Like, she's just not moving. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, Byzantium got kicked out of, um, of Asia. The Turks took Nicaea, forgot to mention that. Whoa, and just like that, Portugal conquers all of Iberia. Just like that, it's all theirs. Interesting. Uh, Scotland, I just spotted this over here. Would Poland know about this? I don't think they do. So they're about to get hit by a surprise attack from the Scots at Oslo. Ah, interesting. Uh, France took Bern. Uh, I think they already held on to Metz. Uh, Venice, yep, they hopped in, took Naples. They've almost unified Italy. I don't think they would far. I don't think they would risk excommunication to take Rome. The Scots ended up taking Oslo and Venice took Innsbruck at some point, which is a very important settlement for Venice. A good castle in the north. You know, these two castles here, very good at defending uh, this side of the map. Oh, Portugal. Making it into Africa now, uh, conquering Algiers. Uh, they now border the Egyptians who... Oh, Milan died. Why, Egypt, why? <laughs> but yeah, Egypt now uh, becoming quite the power over here. And they seem to get along very well with the Turks and the Venetians. So yeah, this triple alliance here seems to be working really well. Any other alliances? Alright, the HRE and France, uh, they seem to be teaming together. Because, yeah, players can team together. Alright, so yeah, HRE and the French. I don't know about that one. You know, I, I don't play hot seats at all, so, you know, I'm, I'm far from an expert. Um, and I know your Total War Master, you know, is an expert at this. Uh, playing France over here, but surely you just want to take the HRE land at this point. They're not in a that powerful position. Get an ally like Portugal instead. That would be my mentality. Although, come to think about it, you know, they don't, they don't see the map the way we do. Like, we see everything, they don't. So maybe they might not know how powerful the HRE are, you know, you've got to bear that in mind when watching uh, multiplayer stuff like this. They cannot see what we can see. Oh, uh, oh, Sicily's dead. Just like that, everything collapsed. Uh, Tunis, Sardinia both fell and, yeah, and then they hopped over and took Rome. The Papal States is still alive, but, you know, it's, it's the Papal States. Of course they are. Oh, France zoomed on in. Maybe that's why they allied with uh, the HIV. Maybe they preferred the Italian land. Which, yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, I can understand that. So, Genoa, Florence and Rome. It's now all theirs. Um, meanwhile, not looking good for the HIV. Uh, Scotland took Denmark and Hamburg. And meanwhile, Poland is just getting bigger and bigger. They're the massive blob of the East. Oh yeah, and uh, the Turks, of course, took these two islands. Uh, France takes Naples. A crusade has been called. I wonder where for. Uh, anywhere to tell? I don't think there is. Probably like Jerusalem or Cairo or something. Uh, oh, the Moors are dead. Uh, Portugal, uh, not Portugal, Poland, getting even bigger, Russia, down to their final settlement now. And the Turks expanding north. Oh, now this is interesting. Uh, they're offering settlements for map information. Um, I have to assume they declined, but, you know, they're working together, so a deal like that could be possible. Like, that's not the full deal. Uh, you know, they'll be talking in, like, Discord, organising stuff, stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see next turn what happens there anyway. Uh, oh, some drama. 
You told me I betrayed you, which I never did. And you attacked me, so I decided to team up with France. Oh, and they're going for France. Oh, so, yeah, Egypt and Venice were getting along. Uh, that somehow broke, uh, because, yeah, I think it was Corniff down here. Yeah, it was the settlement of Corniff that, I think, uh, started that disagreement, so. Oh, interesting thought placements. So yeah, Venice has broken their uh, relations with the Egyptians and they are now teaming with the French. Your total war master and dreamer now working together. Uh, Scotland taking a very big chunk of land up here. Uh, that's another three settlements. The HRE is dead. I didn't even notice that. And the Papal States are back. Yeah, interesting. Hey, it finally happened. Constantinople finally fell to the Turks and the Egyptians took Thessalonica but lost uh, Corniff. Ah, so yeah, I think was that territory traded? It does look like something changed hands. Yeah, Egypt got Crete but the Turks got Jerusalem. Wonder why that is? Uh, maybe they need, had public order issues, I I don't know. Uh, and then we see something like this happen, them giving it back. Uh, no idea what that's about. Maybe, would that work? What if the Crusaders called a crusade for Jerusalem when it was under Egyptian control? But then, if they give the settlement to another faction, does that crusade continue? Did they use that to break the crusade? I hope they didn't. That actually sounds a bit meh, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, even more of this diplomacy. Um, it does, yeah, seem to be getting accepted in some form. Really weird diplomacy going on here. Uh, they really do control the Mediterranean at this point. What? <laughs> Attack faction rebels. <laughs> Oh, Poland going for Venice now, taking Ragusa down here. Yeah, I think Venice is about to collapse to both the Poles and uh, the Muslims down here. And the territory seems to be back to normal. Anyway, let us check out the final turn and see who won this campaign. So here we are, we're now spectating as France. And I can say that the Egyptians and the Turks, so that's Francisco and Lucky Boy working together, did win this campaign. Well done to both of them. Uh, that was the agreed upon result. You know, most of these players here, they've played a lot of hot seats and they know when one's over. Also, you have to understand that they have probably been playing this for about six months to a year or something like that. They do take a very long time to to actually play through fully. Uh, they do take a while. So yeah, you know, there was never going to be a world conquest of anything. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't think it was over here. I can see opportunity for another power to actually win this if they all went on it, but you know, maybe diplomacy fell apart or yeah, France, they have no allies. So maybe they foresaw, uh, you know, eventually Venice is going to fall, then there's nothing Poland can really do uh, to both the Turks and the Egyptians, and then it would only be a matter of time until France falls to both of those powers. I don't know, I think we could have gone a little longer uh, before deciding a winner. I don't think it's exactly over yet, but, you know, these players, they know what they're doing. So yeah, we just have to, we just have to go with it. Let's take a little look at the stats. Uh, let's get the bigger powers in here. Poland, the Turks, and the Egyptians. So yeah, overall, these two working together are a very powerful force. Uh, but France ended up as the greatest power at the end. Uh, let's take a look at, yep, military there, same story again. Production, same again. Uh, territory, same again. Uh, financials, there we go. And population, so there we go. 
Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this little hot seat here uh, from medieval to total war. If you want to take part in more of these, check out your Total War Masters Discord, linked down below in the description. And if you want to see it from the point of view of your Total War Master playing as the French, check out his YouTube channel, also linked down below. But yeah, I'm happy to be able to cover hot seats again. They are really fun to spectate, and now that I have the second channel where I don't have to worry about the views as much. You know, I can come back to them and start covering these again. You know, that's what the second channel is all about. So, yeah, I do hope you like this place and I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more, share with anyone you think may be interested. But for now, until the next one, tomorrow's video, a goodbye.